In a historic event, primary school students participated in the first ever primary plenary debate in the THA chamber earlier today. The debate was centered on a critical motion, whether the Executive Council should create a student-based team to examine the impacts of the secondary entrance assessment examination and consider integrating the Montessori method in Tobago's education system. Travisa Phillips has the details. Acting as Chief Secretary and Member for Palitovere, Lansomi, and Speedside, Assemblyman Tando George expressed the anxiety shared by 11 to 13 year olds awaiting the SEA results for exams conducted on March 21st. He emphasized that students, parents, guardians, and teachers are hopeful for favorable outcomes. George acknowledged that while the SEA aims to make secondary education accessible, it may have more detrimental effects than benefits. According to Kevin J. Palmer, and I quote, the secondary entrance assessment has become one of the biggest nightmares faced by most 8 to 11 year olds in one of the most critical development phases by their lives. Every year around this time, the publication of SEA results stirs a discussion on the negative impacts, but continues without major restructuring of the process to transition to secondary school. As students sitting here today, we can attest to the trauma we have been through. Liam Wheeler, acting as the minority leader and member for Daryl Spring Wim, offered a contrasting perspective. He acknowledged the merits of the Montessori method, such as promoting creativity and independent thinking, but questioned its suitability for Tobago's children. Wheeler argued that the structured assessments like the SEA foster discipline and productivity, which are essential qualities for national development. The SEA is designed to ensure all our nation's children have strong English language skills and a solid knowledge of mathematics, creating a foundation to, for continued academic edu education and for contributing to the national development of Trinidad and Tobago. Wheeler then proposed refining the SEA exam to enhance its strengths, aiming to create an educational environment that nurtures excellence, equity, and opportunity for all children in Trinidad and Tobago. The debate saw active participation from other primary school students, including Kimora Reed, serving as the presiding officer of the House, along with S.J. Rennie, Zaire McMillan, Amir Williams, Kimaya Lewis, Shania Potts, Eleni Woods, Kimani McPherson, Zion Craig, Sienna Rupchan, Michael Moses, Leston Paul, Zion George, Kylie Williams, and Nagozika Nukolo. Travisia Phillips, Tobago Updates Television News.